Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to measure and enforce regulatory compliance in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Well, Microsoft Defender for Cloud continually compares the configuration of the resources with the requirements in industry standards, regulations and benchmarks. The regulatory compliance dashboard will provide the insights into the compliance posture based on how we are meeting the specific compliance requirements. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. I'll just click on Microsoft Defender for Cloud to directly log on to directly go to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud dashboard. And on the left hand side, I'll just click on regulatory compliance. Okay, here you will see the uh, benchmark 63 of 63 past controls, lowest compliance regulatory standards, and the audit reports. Uh, and these are the compliance like Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. So, recommendation from Microsoft Defender for Cloud regulatory compliance should not be interpreted as a guarantee of compliance. It is up to you to evaluate and validate the effectiveness of customer controls as per the regulatory environment. Okay, so the, these are the compliance controls like network security, identity management, privileged access, data protection, asset management, logging and threat detection, incident response, posture and vulnerability management, endpoint security, backup and recovery, DevOps security and governance and strategy. Okay, now if you will click on let's say on network security. So these are the specific recommendations if you will, right? So if you just scroll down and you'll see Establish network segmentation boundaries, secure cloud services with network controls, deploy firewall at the edge of enterprise network. If you would click on control details, right, it will bring up this option. So, in every organization, you would see, right that these are the specific controls related to network, identity, data, logging, poster, endpoint security. It says establish network segmentation boundaries. What are your actions as a customer? No customer actions identified as the customer cust control is deemed to be Microsoft responsibility. What are the Microsoft? This is work in progress. Same way. If you would see it's a Microsoft responsibility or the customer responsibility. If you want to check in specific like deploy DDoS protection. So what is uh, the Microsoft responsibility on this or what is customer responsibility on this? It will show you into the control details. But this is not the specific uh, network security or identity management security as per the compliance. All right, you can download the report from here. Uh, these are the compliance offerings, which is still in preview. Right, so compliance offering include various type of assurances, including formal certifications and attestations produced by independent third party audit firms, as well as self assessments produced by Microsoft. So these are the uh, third party. Let's say these are the Australia, IRAP, CSA, Star Attestation, DOD, Fed Germany, HIPAA or HIT Trust, ISO, PCI 3DS, PSI DSS Level 1 and SOC Type 2 or SOC Type 2. So system and organization controls and these are the Microsoft documentations uh, which is the compliance offerings. Right, if you will see here. These are the compliance offerings. Here it is. Right? So, healthcare and life sciences, which is for HIT, HI Trust, PCI 3DS SS attestation, 
United State government, and if you would see the global, like what is what is CIS benchmarks, Central Center of Internet Security benchmark, what is it all about? Same way, these are different. Uh, different global compliance controls or I would say benchmarks. It draws on the expertise of cyber security and IT professionals from government, business and academy. Same way if you would see ISO 9001, right? That's the criteria for a quality management system. So these are specific benchmarks and when you are in the industry and these are industry specific benchmarks if you are into financial services or healthcare some let's say you are working for a client who is into healthcare right so first and foremost we know as hipaa right so this is the hipaa overview you would go through how are how is azure and hipaa related and what are the frameworks or uh, uh, compliance offerings or the security benchmark you have to which are the services in scope which are the services in scope as per HIPAA so there is a very detailed documentation that one has to go through okay and if you go back here and these are the services every services as per the uh, compliance offering or the attestation or the certifications in the third party you can download it as well from here and read it how is every service related or which service is offered in which compliance offering right and these are the compliance policies Governance rules, data sensitivity, direct onboarding. Right, if I talk about data sensitivity. Manage data sensitivity settings of cloud resources at the tenant level based on selective info types and label originating from the purview compliance portal. Right, so that's a Microsoft purview here. But you can see overall from here. Now, how are regulatory compliance standards represented in Defender for Cloud? Right. So, industry standards, regulatory standards, and benchmarks are represented in Defender for Cloud's regulatory compliance dashboard. Each standard is an initiative defined in Azure policy. Okay. Now, if you go and check the Azure policy, you you would not collect all the settings or the controls in one specific regulatory compliance all right so if you want to see the compliance data mapped as assessments in your dashboard add a compliance standard to your management group or subscription from the security policy so if i you go to azure policy right you come here compliance this is the compliance as for the policy so when you when you've assigned a standard or benchmark to your selected scope the standard appears in your regulatory compliance dashboard right so this is the scope to which i am going to assign right and these are the definitions that are available for me to assign i can create a new policy definition i can create a new initiative definition initiative is a set of policies okay and these are the if i want to create an initiative definition i just name it and add all the policies here you see now microsoft will track the regulatory standard themselves and automatically improved its coverage in some of the packages over time when microsoft releases new content for the initiative it will appear automatically in the dashboard Okay, now if I, these are the Microsoft managed. See, Microsoft managed control, least privilege, perfect information. And if I want to check if there is NIST. So this is the 
definition of CII's benchmark. Let me show you. Says Microsoft Azure Foundation benchmark, and these are the policies which are present in this benchmark. And I can assign this initiative to a specific scope. That's the separate thing I've covered in the policy, right? So, what regulatory compliance standards are available in Defender for Cloud? So, by default, every subscription has the Azure security benchmark assigned. You just onboard a subscription to your tenant, automatically Azure security benchmark would be assigned. So, this is the Microsoft authored Azure specific guidelines for security and compliance best practices based on the common compliance frameworks. Available regulatory standards would be PCI, DSS, SOC, TSP, NIST, like the, the, one, I, the one I showed you, right? For uh, FedRAMP, ISO 27001. If you want to add a regulatory standard to your dashboard, you can do it from here. You just go to Defender for Cloud. Come to regulatory compliance. You click on manage compliance policies. So this is the policy management page. Now select the subscription. I have only have one subscription. If I scroll down. I this is my subscription. Okay. Now to add the standard relevant to the organization. You expand the industry. See, cloud which is uh, CSPM, foundational CSPM, defender CSPM, cloud workload protection. I've set it to on for everything, right? This is the default initiative. This is the industry and regulatory standard. Microsoft uh, security benchmark, I told you, is available by default, right? And these are depreciated. Add more standards. Just click on it. This is where, right? So, specific to your industry, you just add what you want to add. From here, just click on add. Now, when you will again go to regulatory compliance dashboard, your new standard would appear in the list of industry and regulatory standards. All right. So, this is what I wanted to cover in this video. And if you have uh, any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I hope this video was informative for all of you. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.